everyone, it's Arlette from Chase and Joy, and today is February 23rd. Um, it is cycle day four for me of my 12th cycle since I started trying to conceive to become a single mother by choice. Um, that's just crazy. I can't believe that it's been a year officially since I actually started trying. Um, <clears throat> I had my first IUI March 23rd of last year. And it is shocking that the year has gone so fast. And also, <clears throat> I guess surprising and a little scary that it's been a year and I've not gotten pregnant or have not I guess gotten and stayed gotten pregnant and stayed pregnant so um <clears throat> excuse me so my last video I know was pretty sad and I debated with myself if I was going to even share that video first I was and then I wasn't because I feel like oh you know I'm a blogger I blog at Chasing Joy and trying to conceive is only part of what I blog about and um, sometimes when you have a, a blog that's a business and an online brand you think about everything that you put out there like is this good for my brand and so after I did the video I was like oh I don't know if that was good for my brand maybe I should redo it but ultimately I decided to show you guys a video and to be authentic um, because this trying to conceive journey is no joke um as someone in the um single mothers by choice forums has in their signature this this trying to conceive is is not for wimps so um i decided to share the video just to to be honest with you guys as i've been very honest all along um so the last video, basically, you know, I was not pregnant and the doctor wanted me to take a break from even trying. I was just really upset and feeling just like rejected and down. And hopefully you could tell I'm feeling a lot better um, today. Um, so, like I said, this is my 12th cycle. So what's the plan? So the plan for this cycle is no plan. Um not really no plan but there's no plan for our IUI or any treatment this month at the clinic I did talk to the doctor and well I don't agree with everything that she said uh, basically she was saying that well let me back up I said to her that I felt confused because after the miscarriage she told me how optimistic she was about me being able to get pregnant that, that I had been pregnant now we know that it worked and it the miscarriage was just, you know, bad luck. Sorry Basically. about that. Um, one day I'm going to get good at these videos and not have any of these um, technical issues. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so back to what I was saying. Um, so I did speak with the doctor and I said to her that I was confused. Um, it seemed like she was um, conflicting with what she had said previously because... Right after the miscarriage, she was saying how optimistic she was that I would be able to get pregnant. That now we know that I can get pregnant. And that the miscarriage was just unfortunate and like bad luck. Um, that there was nothing that I did to cause it. And it was probably just something chromosomally um, abnormal with the, um, with the embryo, which is why it didn't um, progress. So, and then I said, so that, you know, to being able to try only one more time and then get like, oh, don't you you can't try because you're too overweight. Um, and I've not gained any weight since the beginning. Um, I have struggled with my weight forever and over the last year. Like, I've tried different things. Um, I tried... I can't even think of what it's called. The thing where they send you the food. I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, Nutrisystem. I tried Nutrisystem and lost a few pounds. Um, maybe like six or seven. Did I gain back the same six or seven? Then I met with the nutritionist and again lost six or seven and then um, was kind of on a more of a downward trend and then had the miscarriage and um, gained some weight back. So, you know, kind of lost, gained and lost the same few, few pounds back and forth over the year. Um, but I've not gained any weight. So I was saying it to her 
So basically, she said that she still feels very, very optimistic that I will get pregnant, uh, which is why they wanted me, said for me to try it again. She said, however, you now when she looked back over things, it's been a year, and they had to weigh me um, during the whole miscarriage thing because at one point they were concerned that it was a tubal and I was going to have to take this medicine. And with the medicine, they have to know your weight for the dosage. So they weighed me then, and I was a little... I had, had gained back some of the weight. So she was using that weight, um, which I'm already like five pounds less than that just a few weeks ago. And she was saying, based on that, I really hadn't lost any weight over the year. And when I first started trying, I was at basically like the, the max BMI for their clinic to be able to do the IUI. And I'm still at that same point. So she feels now with seven tries and no successful pregnancy that changes my um, categorization to now they're saying I have infertility, um, which I don't even know. I don't even necessarily agree with that. Um, but considering that and then with my age and BMI and my BMI that she really feels that um, even though they can't say for sure that the weight is causing me to not be able to get pregnant or successfully pregnant, but that me losing a good amount of weight could improve things and that instead of me just keep doing IUI, IUI, um, that I should really focus on losing weight first. So, um, I told her and that my BMI would have to be less than 44 um, to do the IUI, which... Right now, my BMI is less than 44. When I spoke to her, my BMI was less than 44. I kind of don't think it's fair that they used the weight while I was pregnant and going through the miscarriage in the first place to calculate that. They didn't even allow me to come in and weigh or anything. Uh, but I didn't I didn't request that either. But um, Because one, I was, was pregnant. So, you know, things were happening. There had been some bloating in the beginning. You know, so I don't really think necessarily think that was an accurate weight plus they had told me to not really work out so I was like taking it easy and different things like that so anyway I did say to her I didn't mind taking one month off because this month would actually well I won't say this month but like this cycle um with my my birthday is coming up and it would be nice to be able to go out and not worry about what I'm eating or drinking in terms of like if I want to I don't know have seafood or um if I want to drink Basically, I would like to have some drinks on my birthday. So I don't mind taking one month off, but I told her I didn't plan intend to take any more than that off. That I'm already below the BMI requirement for the IUI. So I plan to keep trying. And I still am trying to lose weight. Like, it was never been my intention, like, to not lose weight. And I've, I have been working on it, and I plan to continue to do so. I'm going to try and ramp it up, work it even harder. Just because, um, you know... I don't want it to be an issue. I'm tired of hearing about it. I've been hearing about it my whole life. Um, and it's not going to be something that's going to stand in the way of me becoming a mom if I can help it. It's all in God's hand. When he's ready for me to be pregnant, I will be pregnant. Um, all that I can do is try and be as healthy as I can. And that's always been my plan, which I think was what was so upsetting. Because, you know, I've been working on it consistently. Um... And anyway, so I plan to do so. So, um, so the plan for this month is I am working harder on my weight. Um, basically, I've just cut my portions back a lot. Um, and that's very difficult. I don't like feeling this uncomfortably hungry. <laughs> um, and... I'm hoping that I get used to it a little bit and can sustain it for a while, but um, I do need to come down, you know, with the BMI. So I'm working hard. Basically, I'm going to be focused more on my weight for this month and for, and making plans to go out for my birthday. Um, and I have some chase and joy things to focus on. I'll be doing a an event um, this coming weekend where I'll be. Um, being a vendor for the first time selling my t-shirts um which you guys have seen many a few times in the videos um so i have some things to keep me busy um 
but I'll be focused on on the weight basically and I can work a lot a little harder in the gym so that's another thing it is kind of hard to lose weight when every when, when you are trying to conceive um, because every two weeks you've had the IUI and then you're afraid to get your heart rate too high and then you're afraid to get your temperature too high so you're not working out at a, a normal intensity um, so the other thing, like I just said a few minutes ago, that came up in the call is this new categorization of me having infertility. I don't really feel that that's accurate. She said the definition for someone over 35, which I'll be 36 in a couple weeks, um, is that six tries to get pregnant, six months of trying um, with, um, I don't, I think she said, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know, think this is the right word, but something like with access to sperm at the time of ovulation um, and it with no successful pregnancy and now I've had seven. I disagree with that because one, I'm not married. So my window of accessibility to sperm is small. Um, not to say that if I were single, I would, I mean, but if I were, um, not to say that single people don't have access to sperm, but I'm not with anyone and I'm not going out having, you know, one-nighters or anything. So, you know, I'm not, my accessibility to sperm is pretty much limited to the IUI right now. So that basically means I have one shot per month with the IUI. And several of the seven attempts, um, at least two, two or three, I don't think the timing was right. Um, I think we missed the, the window of ovulation. And because I'm using frozen donor sperm, it doesn't last as long. The doctor seems to think it lasts like a, could last like three days to a week. But I don't think it's been, been proven. And I can't find anywhere online it says for sure how long the frozen sperm lives. It's not the same as fresh sperm when you have intercourse. So it doesn't last as long, and I think we missed the, the ovulation timing, and the egg only lives a day. So I don't necessarily think I've had accessibility to sperm seven times. Um, but either way, that's, I guess, what the paperwork says. I'm not going to claim that for myself at this point, especially, like I said, it's, it's in God will decide when I get pregnant and the success of that pregnancy. is nothing that I can do but try to be in as best physical and mental and emotional shape as I can be um, to be ready to be a mom. So and when, when God is ready, it'll happen. And I'll just keep trying um, because it's still very much in my heart to be a mom. That has not changed and nothing has changed in my life. God has not brought a man into my life um, over this last year. Um, which leads me to believe that he's not intending at this point for me to change my plan or he's not communicated that with me. Um, and I pray about this often and I know you guys pray for me as well and I do appreciate it. So, um, basically that's where things stand. I'm not claiming the I word infertility and I'm not trying this month, but I plan to be trying next cycle, which would be... 13th cycle and it'd be probably almost a year within um it'd probably be the end of march which will be within a couple weeks of when i started last year and hopefully i've lost a little bit more weight by then and be even healthier to um to get pregnant maybe that'll be my like maybe a lucky cycle 13 maybe 13 would be a lucky number for me um so thanks for watching and I appreciate all your support and positive messages and the baby dust and most importantly the prayers. Please keep them coming and let me let me know what, what you guys think in terms of the, um, the infertility diagnosis. If you've received it, when you did, did you believe that that was true? Um, if you are a single mother by choice or planning to be, if you did IUIs, um, do you feel that the um and if, if you use frozen donor sperm if you feel that the window of opportunity um should be counted the same way as if you were at home having intercourse a few times a week um during ovulation 
So let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like the videos, you know, obviously share them. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will be back letting you guys know um, what the plan is for cycle 13. Um, and God willing, as far as I'm concerned, that will be a cycle where I will be trying. Um, so... Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.